for today, we're going to check out that, uh, what's it called? Y... Y-K-K? Y-K-K... Y-K-O? Y-K-O. Hold on, I'm like... Y-K-O chicken, I believe it is. Yeah, Y-K-O chicken barbecue. Yeah, Y-K-O chicken barbecue. And it's here on... MacArthur. MacArthur. Here in Vanier. We're in Vanier again. Here I'm with Vanessa. <laughs> I didn't eat all day just for this. Same. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> that looks pretty good. Barbecue chicken. It's halal chicken as well. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, they said that. halal meat over there. So what we got were two different platters. One would, uh, they're both quarter chickens. Yes. But one has rice and plantains, and the other one has plantains and what? Uh. Atieke? Atieke? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm yeah. sorry, everyone. No. And uh, each of these are like $18 each. Yeah. And uh, Vanessa also got herself a ginger Ginger drink. juice, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, that's going to be curious. So they didn't let us film inside the restaurant, but it actually looks really nice inside. Yeah. It had a lot of artwork and it gave a little um, ambiance to it. Mm -hmm. And they're from Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. I always like trying the rice first. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. How do you like it? We just spicy. <laughs> we asked for both of them to be spicy. It's good. Okay. Yeah, for sure. And it's actually like, it has a nice heat to it. Mm. Yeah, but it's not bad. The heat comes in at the end. Yeah, at, before, right at the end. Before it's a little sweet, and, and then it's like. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like there's a gravy on top of it. Mm. I'm gonna try the chicken. Sure, we got the same chicken anyways. Quarter chicken. Always like the leg better. <laughs> same. Mm. It's good. Yeah. Like, it tastes like homemade barbecue chicken, nicely seasoned, not dry. <laughs> That's always a plus. At yeah. least my piece isn't dry. There's a nice spice to it too. Yeah. I don't think you can get this anywhere else, this type of flavor. I wouldn't know. Yeah. But yeah, no, for me, it's like, it is very reminiscent of homemade barbecue. Yeah. It's delicious. Very good. It's good. A tea cake? Yes, we're I gonna try horrible. the tea cake. So plant in and then I think a tea cake. Again, yeah. sorry if we're mispronouncing it. That's right. So essentially it's made out of cassava. Um, cassava is like a root, or at least I grew up knowing it as a root. Um, but I'm not familiar with this dish, so I'm not sure how they prepare it. So it's gonna be a first for both of us. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Does remind me of quinoa. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Big time reminds me of quinoa. The texture, if anything, I don't even know. I was gonna say it's maybe a little drier mm -hmm. than quinoa. But it's also more um, textured than quinoa. Yeah. Well. It's almost like a, a powdery version. Which makes sense, because like cassava tends to be on the drier end. Mm -hmm. But again, you can eat it boiled. Um, uh, in our culture, we have something called uh, cassava, mm -hmm. cassava cake. <laughs> My brain is like melting, but yeah. And it's very dry when you like grate it, mm -hmm. and then you have to like add a moisture to it. If anything, I would want gravy on this. Yeah. Maybe that's what that's for. Maybe that's what this is for. But it's uh, it's a little on the dry side. I actually prefer to get the rice if, instead of mm -hmm. the tahini. And that's a lot. Yeah. That's the cabbage. It's good. It adds yep. a crunch to the dish. The thing with cabbage, it absorbs whatever flavor it's being put in. So it's flavorful, but I like that it adds an extra crunch to whatever you're eating. Oh, so you like the crunch to it? Yeah. There is a good... Get in on it. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. You want to take some of the rice and then just mix it with Yeah, here. sure. And take some of that tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Tradesies! 
Cabbage isn't my thing. It's not your jam? Not my jam, but I can see people liking this. Yeah. It's just like stew, stew mm -hmm. cabbage. Yeah. Very Pretty much. Cool. Now, I didn't, I've never seen plantains cooked quite like this before. Um, it definitely depends. I think it depends on who's preparing it. And yeah. I guess I'm not going to speak geographically for anyone. But this is what it looks like. Oh yeah. Hmm. Very sweet. That's nothing like plantains at like uh, Ocho Rios. No, again, I'm not gonna speak for everyone, but I find that Caribbean people, we either fry our plantain mm -hmm. or we boil it. Right. Those are like the two, at least those are the two that I've grown up with. But the flavor isn't as sweet as this. This almost tastes like a banana in, in some way. Yeah, and then, oh, I wish I could remember what it's called. But um, sometimes they'll prepare it like this, but then they'll put like some spices on it. Okay. I don't remember what it's called. Usually when I eat plantains, they kind of taste like potato-ish. Yeah. But this one is like very banana-ish instead. This is the only Next, we have here. I think it's coleslaw. And then we're gonna see whether we should put it on the our rice. Well, it's like onion and tomato. That is not coleslaw. Yeah, no. That's actually pretty nice. I feel like you're supposed to mix it in with your food. I think so too. It's almost like a, a seasoning. I'm just making a mush. That's that's onions and tomato. Probably garlic, maybe. Yeah, garlic as well. Yeah. This is really nice, actually. Mix that with the ateki and the rice. Yeah, it tastes good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I like the ateke better with it. With Maybe mm -hmm. that's why they gave it to you. You're supposed to put that on top of mm -hmm. it. Cheers. Cheers. Boop. You can smell the mm -hmm. ginger. <laughs> yes. I really like ginger, so this is right up my alley. Wow, that tastes different. I, I've never had anything like this before. Really? Yeah. Mm. It literally tastes like ginger. Yeah. Like this is pretty much juiced ginger. There's definitely a lot of sugar in it. Mm -hmm. um, so for me, this is reminiscent of my dad's homemade ginger beer. Oh, really? Yeah. So ours isn't, because I know in a lot of stores, you'll see the carbonated version. Mm -hmm. The one that my dad makes, it's not really carbonated. So I guess technically we call it ginger juice or ginger drink. Right. But it definitely tastes similar. It has like that nice ginger kick. Mm -hmm. This would actually taste really good with ice though. If you ice I do it have just ice. to like I do cut have the ice sweetness. If you want some. <sighs> Although I do think that this this juice goes well with this. Yeah. Food. It has a nice blend to the two. Uh, it offsets the the spice and it kind of like blends together mm -hmm. into something different that you, I don't think any of you guys that normally don't eat this stuff would ever uh, experience. <laughs> that's that's your ASMR. Look, I'm out of pros. Where's your? That's your ASMR. <laughs> and with that being said, we actually didn't mention how much, but so this is a pretty decent sized bottle, and it's about four dollars. Yeah, which is I think pretty good. So overall, how, what do you think of the place? Um, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> the food's good. The setup, I mean, obviously it's not their usual setup, mm -hmm. but like you said, I really liked the artwork that they had. It was really nice, bright, mm -hmm. and really clean. <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice um, area. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and the staff there is pretty nice, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they are French, so you, there might be some miscommunication yeah. when you're, you're talk, communicating with them. But in general, they're very, uh, they're very nice and uh, 
accommodating. Yeah, very much so. Go practice your French. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking to myself because <laughs> I'm losing it. <laughs> I would come back to this place. It's actually really good. Yeah. I like it. Agreed. Something totally different from what you normally get at a generic chicken place or the chicken places that you're used to has um, uh, spices that are kind of unusual that we don't normally get. It's um, not like a, a red hot, Frank's red hot or like anything yeah. else like that. It's more like a powdery kind of, mm -hmm. uh, powdery kind of spiciness. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I would, I would recommend you guys come, come check this place out. There's a lot of places in Vanier. <laughs> yes! I didn't realize there were so many food places there. That's it for this week. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye! <laughs>